Hel Hello there everyone, this is Phantom Duos here and today I'm going to be doing What if Deku gained the darkest night powers? So this is going to be part 1, I hope you guys enjoy it, let's start. In a world not so different from the one we know, there exists a young hero in training named Mitsuka Midoriya, known to his peers and mentors as Deku. With a heart full of determination and a desire to become a, the greatest hero, he was bestowed with the quirk known as One for All by his idol and the number one hero All Might. As the bearer of One for All, Deku's power grew exponentially and he learned to wield it in, an, in inspiring ways. The journey, the journey to become the symbol of peace was close and he faced count, countless j challenges along the way. However, the world as he knew it was about to change forever. One fateful day, while battling a formidable villain known as the Dark Mage, Deku was pushed to his absolute limit. The Dark Mage was a sorcerer of unparalleled malice and rumored to have the dark intentions to an ancient and forbidden power. During their class, the villain managed to unleash a cursed artifact as the Call of Shadows. The Call had been an artifact by has been crafted by the dark forces and, who, and whoever wore it would gain unimaginable power but a terrible cost. In the heat of battle, Deku found himself in a desperate situation and without fully understanding the nature of the call, he had made a faithful decision to wear it, hoping to gain an edge against the dark mage. As the call settled upon his head, Deku felt an immense energy an immense surge of energy coursing through his veins, power like he had never experienced before, consumed him. And in a moment, the call of shadow emerged with his very being, intertwining itself with the essence of one for all. At first, Deku felt invincible, about to overpower the dark mage with ease. His movement was faster, his attacks were deadlier, and his quirks seemed to amplify beyond his wildest dreams. But as, but as the battle reached its climax, the consequences of his choice became evident. The cold shadow began to take its toll on Deku's mind and spirit. A dark presence whispered, malevolent thoughts, planting seeds of doubt, anger, and, re and resentment. The cold, po the cold's power came at a price. It fed on negative emotions, and the more Deku succumbed to these emotions, the stronger he became. But the darker his heart grew. The strong, the struggles, the con the struggling to control the sinister influence. Deku found himself caught between his desire to protect and save others and the urge to give in to overwhelming power coursing through him. The line between hero hero and anti-hero blurred, and those who knew him best started to notice the change in his de demeanor. His closest friend, like Uraraka and Ida, sensed that something was amiss, and all my his mentor felt a growing concern for his student. They vowed to help him, refusing to give up on the boy who had inspired them all. As the day turned into weeks, Deku's internal battle with the Call of Shadows intensified. The dark power consumed his very, every walking, every waking thought, making him question the very essence of heroism and justice. He had confronted the darkest corner of his heart to overcome this malevolent force within. Unbeknownst to him, the, eh, the League of Villains, led by the cunning Tomara Shiraki, took an interest in this dark transformation. They saw in Deku's potential as, as an ally or even a formidable foe if they could manipulate him to their advantage. And so, the tales of Deku's struggle with the Darkest Nine powers were the fate of heroes and villains alike hanging in the balance. Would he overcome the malevolent fought force within and emerge as a true hero, or would he succumb to the darkest? And become a force of threat that ev a force that threatens everything that he once swore to protect. The answer awaits in the depths of Deku's soul, where the battle of light and darkness rages on. So we continue. Previously, we witnessed the fateful moment that when Deku donned the cursed artifact, known as the Call of Shadows, during his battle with the Dark Mage, the Call merged with his quirk one for granting him immense power while slowly corrupting his heart and mind. As Deku struggled with the malevolent in influence of the call, his friends and mentor grew increasingly concerned. Uraraka, Linda, Ira, and All Might knew that something had to be done to save their friend from the depths of darkness. Together, they resolved to confront Deku and help him break free from the clutches of the darkest power, of the darkest night's power. Meanwhile, the League of Villains, led by Shigaraki, saw an opportunity in Deku's transformation. They saw the exploits in his newfound darkness and turned him 
and turn him into a powerful weapon against the hero. Shigaraki recognized the potential and threat Deku poses and, and diffuses a plan to manipulate him to their advantage. One night, as Deku grappled with his inner with his inner self, he received an unexpected visit from Shigaraki, who offered him a twisted alliance. Shigaraki preyed on Deku's doubts and frustration, playing on his desire or for, or for justice, and the co and convincing that the world needed to change. He painted a picture of a society that would be better off with villains taking control, applying to Deku's darkest thoughts. Though tempted by the promise of power and opportunity to reshape society, Deku hesitated. Deep down, he still held onto the idea that heroism and the belief that he could make a difference. Refusing, refusing Shigaraki's offer, Deku made a decision to confront the darkest, the dark, the darkness within him, and find a way to harness the darkest night's power for good. Determined to save his friends Ochako and Tenya, and all my approach, Deku, with unwavering support and loyalty, they remain. They reminded him of the strength he had shown in the face of in the face of disaster, the countless lives he had touched and the dreams he had inspired. Their un their unwavering belief in him strive startled a flicker of hope with within Deku's heart. Together they embarked on a on another journey to seek answers and guidance. They saw the wise and aged sorcerer which we are gonna which we are going to be naming E. Master E, renowned for his knowledge of the dark force and their counterbalance, Master E, having witnessed the struggles of heroes and the corruptive influence, influence of power, agreed to help them on their quest. Under Master E's guidance, Deku learned to tap into the darkest night powers without succumbing to their mellows. He discovered that by embracing the light within him, he can construct the darkness and use the immense power of the coal for noble purposes. The path, the path forward would not be easy. The League of Villains grew increasingly determined to bring Deku to their side. They launched a series of attacks, testing his resolve and attempting to exploit his vulnerabilities. But with the support of his friends and the teachings of Master E, Deku preserved and emerged stronger and more result with each battle as Deku embraced the duality of his power the world took notice and saw and saw and saw him as a tragic figure tearing on the edge of heroism and villainy while others saw hope in his struggling the lines between good and evil blurred the fate of heroism and villains alike hung in the balance in the next installment as we as we will as we will witness Deku's Continuing journey as he faces the ultimate test of his resolve and grapples the way of his choices. Will he rise as a true hero, harnessing the darkest night's power for greater good? Or will he succ succumb to the darkest to the darkness power, becoming a force to that threats everything he once held dear? The answer lies ahead as fate intertwines with destiny or of a world enter of a world turned upside down. In the wake of Deku's struggles with the darkest night's power, the world watched with a ba with bated breaths. Heroes and villains alike were drawn to the unfolding stake saga, uncertain of the what the future held. The line between good and evil had blurred, and the fate of the society hung in the balance. As Deku continued to hone his control over the call of the shadows, he found that the key to maintaining balance lay in his unwavering resolve to uphold the ideas of heroism, the darkness within him would not be vanquished entirely, but by embracing it with the tempered heart, he will he wielded the darkest night's powers as a force of retribution against the most villainous the most the most villainous villains in the in the series. With his with his friends Ochako and Tenya and All My by his side, Deku embarked on a quest to Call the rising title of chaos that threatened the world. He saw himself as a necessary counterbalance opposing those who had embraced darkness without losing sight of heroic spirits that defined him. Yet despite Deku's noble in intentions, the League of Villains continued to make plans to get him. Shigaraki, resentful of his failed recruitment attempt, sent to, the sent to destroy the symbol of hope in Deku Happy. And that Deku had become, the League of the League 
Hatch the senior, senator plot to saw, to sow dis, discarded among society, insisted chaos and disaster, aiming to push Deku to the brink of depression. In the midst of this upside down world, as a mystery figure emerged up from the shadows, calling himself the Shade Knight, he wielded power similar to Deku, but fully embraced the melomance of the Deku. The Shade Knight goal was to prove that heroism was futile, and that darkness was the only true path to power. Deku and the Shade Knight clashed in a chaotic battle that shook the fundament, the foundation of the he hero society. The dark skies were illuminated by their fierce and des devastating blows. The world watched in fear, torn between admiration for Deku's unwavering spirit and uncertainty about the consequences of his actions in the heart of the battle deku's friends intervened risking their lives to protect him reminding him of his true purpose as the shade of night sought to explore deku's thoughts ochako tenya and his mentor all my reinforced their unwavering beliefs in him they reminded him that the true heroism was not about being invincible but rather about facing one's darkest and emerging and emerging stronger for their world reasserting with Deku as and then he reached a preliminary realization that he understood that he couldn't deny the darkness within him nor could he ignore the darkness in this world instead he vowed to harness his inner strength and forge and forge by his struggles to bring hope to those who had lost it and dissolve to the and dissolve the shadows caused by the legal villains with newfound determination Deku surged forward and a beacon of light Amos the encroaching darkness. He fought with his soul and compassion, showing mercy to, to his enemies when possible and offering a chance for redemption. As the battle reached the cli its climax, Deku confronted the Shade the shade Knight at one final time. Their clash shook the very fragment of reality, and in, in an ascending display of power, Deku unleashed a brilliant burst of light that enveloped b both combats. When the light finally Subsided, only Deku remained standing. The Shade Knight had vanished, leaving behind a trail of despising darkness. The world watched in awe, for it, for it was clear that Deku's light had prevailed over the darkest nights. As the dust settled, Deku stood tall, embodying, embodying a new agrotype of heroism, and one that acknowledges the complex of darkness and the power of compa compassion to counter it. He inspired a generation of heroes providing that the path of here uh yeah if you guys can hear that i apologize for to conquer he inspired a generation proving that the path of heroes was not one perfection but an unwavering resolve to confront darkness with light in the aftermath of this epic battle the world changed heroes and villains alike reverting their roles inspiring in, inspiring by deku's journey the league of villains is prized of their villainous heroes splinter into fractions seeking redemptions some secret dimensions while others presided in their villainous ways. Deku's journey was far from over, but he had to learn the true heroism was never ending quest on the on one that required confronting the darkest corners of oneself while holding steadfast to believe in the power of hope and compassion. And so the story of the story of Deku and the Darkest Knight's power became a legendary tale passing down to generations and remaining of Reminding all who heard it, the darkest, the darkness who could be met with courage, and the, even the depths, the deepest shadows could be pierced by the unwavering light of heroism. And uh, I'm gonna continue with I'm gonna continue the story right now. Give me a second. In the aftermath of Deku's battle with the Shade Knight and the return of hope in Hero Society, the world began to heal from the. From the world began to heal from the scars left by the League of Villains. And League of Villains. Deku's journey continued as he sought to refine his understanding of the Darkest Knight's powers and decline balance between light and darkness. With the support of his friends, Deku continued to train diligently and honing his abilities farther, mastering the call of shadows. He understood that the key to maintaining control over the dark powers was not to suppress them, but to channel them with the strength of his. Of his of his answers, as time passed, Deku's redemption as the symbol of peace grew, and he became an inspiration of heroes in training across the country. His struggles with dark 
His struggle with the darkness and his unwavering resolve to overcome it has resonated with aspiring heroes who looked up to him. As a beacon of light in the darkness of time, Amonsley the new found peace. However, new challenges emerge. A mystery organization known as the Eclipse surfaced, which motivated, which which motives remain stranded in silence. The Eclipse claimed to be the champions of balance, yet their methods and intentions were villainous, causing unrested within both the heroes and villain communica- communities. The leaders of the Eclipse, known as the Eclipse King, recognize Deku's unique connection to the darkest to the darkest night's powers. Driven by the driven by a villainous desire for equality, he thought to either control Deku or destroy him. Believe that the balance of power could be achieved only through extreme means. Deku and the Eclipse found themselves entangled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse. As the organization is Orchestrated and elaborated shames, shames to test his mental and push him to his limit. Each encounter challenged Deku's beliefs and re- require him to navigate the fine line between heroism and vigilantes. During a during a climatic battle with the Eclipse, Deku encountered a mystery figure clothed in darkness known as the Equinox. That the the equivalently inv- invincible seemed to be embody the very essence of balance in the cha- and challenged Deku to confront the enemies of his path. As they clashed, the, em- the equinox questioned Deku's understanding of of balance and challenged him to confront the darkness within himself, within himself fully. In the midst of this intense duel, Deku realized that the true balance did not mean suppressing his one emotions or ignoring darkness, but rather embracing it with clarity and purpose. Guided by the newfound insight, Deku was able to counter the Equinox attacks with succumbing to their despair or rage. The Equinox, impressed by Deku's growth, retreated into the shadows, leaving behind a crypto mansion about the key to true balance laying within a, the heart of a hero. By this, count, by this encounter, Deku vowed to continue his pursuit of harmony between light and darkness. He recognized that true heroism lay not in the uh, a dumbness of darkness, but in the courage of to face it without losing sight of compassion and hope. As Deku continued his journey, the Eclipse presided in this effort to tip the balance of power in their favor. The conflict escalated and a hero society faced one of its greatest challenges. In, in the face of adversity, Deku and his allies stood united, facing the looming darkness with unwavering resolve. In a, in a climatic final battle, Deku confronted the Eclipsian, who revealed his his own tragic past and the twisted ideology that fueled his actions. Seeing the pain and suffering that the Eclipse King had endured, Deku offered compassion as death, extending a hand in understanding. In a profound moment, the Eclipsian heart began to waver, and the darkness that had consumed it started to reduce. Redeemed within Deku's unyielding compassion, he chose to step back from the brink of darkness and embrace the potential of redemption. The Eclipse disbanded, and its members found different paths. Some seeking a te- some seeking redemption, while others choose a life of heroism. While this newfound equal equality of hero society found hope and rebuilding everything, understanding that the balance between light and darkness was essential for growth and process. In the end, Deku's journey transcended the struggles between heroes and villains, evolving into a timeless saga of balance and compassion. His legacy lived on as a testament to embodiment in the spirit of heroism and the capacity for every heart to find harmony in the face of adversity. And so that the t- and so this is where I'm going to be and this is where I'm going to be leaving it off. Thank you guys for watching. This is Phantom Lewis here. And have a good day, you guys.